Hi, you just see the roundup of different browsers and devices that Live.js runs on. And we decided to share it to all with you as well. So you don't have to buy all these devices and install so much software. So for the demo, I'll be showing you our first demo game in the home page. It's called the round ball. And basically it's just simplified jewels game. The source for this game is included with uh, Lime.js. It's under the demo folder. So let's start with something obvious. Here we got a Chrome browser. Chrome is our default development browser. So obviously everything runs okay here. Uh, even though the latest stable version, the Chrome 9, has a very nasty CSS transformation spark that Google has not yet fixed. So it runs okay. Uh, runs even better on almost any Chrome version except tonight. So let's look at Firefox now. Uh, this is the 3.6 version of Firefox. Uh, everything runs okay here as well. It's not as fast as the current WebKit based browsers, but uh, completely playable. There's a Firefox 4 beta out as well. It has uh, other new features like uh, a request animation frame that we support. Unfortunately for the beta, at least for a Mac, the hardware acceleration part is still uh, pretty buggy. So if you try some games with uh, the beta and see some awful flickery, then I would recommend uh, to turn this hardware acceleration off. Next up, uh, Safari. Safari still, in my opinion, has uh, the fastest drawing engine. So I would say the best choice for gaming at the moment. Uh, maybe not so much if you use the canvas element very much. But uh, just look at those animations, They're completely smooth. Uh, now Opera, no real differences here, just works. Uh, there are some parts like uh, gradients that aren't supported by Opera, so we just automatically fall back to the Canvas implementation for this. So last week Microsoft released the release candidate for Internet Explorer 9. We were holding our breath whether CSS transformations are going to be included or not, and luckily they were. So, as you can see, I'm running it on VirtualBox here, but everything still looks very smooth. So, Microsoft has done a very good job this time. This browser is a really good choice for HTML5 gaming. But enough for PC browsers now. For Lime.js, the mobile space is equally as important. So let's look at some devices. For first, I got here an iPad. It's a perfect device for gaming, perfect for Lime.js. I can open up a game in the browser and uh, it always takes the maximum screen area possible. Or even better, I can add it to my home page and then use it as a web app. The animations are super smooth. There isn't much that would make it different from the same game made as a native application. I can even turn on airplane mode. This connects the device from any network and relaunch the game. Notice how it appears in the application switch as a native application world. So it loads up from the device itself. Notice how I turn the device and the game always stays correctly positioned. I can try to scroll or pinch to zoom with no effect. There is nothing that will tell the user that this is a web page. I'm going to quickly switch the camera now so I can show you it on an iPhone as I'm using it for making the video. So I guess it also counts as a camera comparison video. 
this is a Nexus S camera that I will use now. So for iPhone, basically everything is the same as for iPad. I have already saved the application to my home screen, so I just launch it as I would launch any other application. It looks very good, like it were especially made for this device. By the way, you can also switch to balls by just flicking from one to another. The overall performance is quite equal to the iPad. Maybe the canvas implementation is a bit quicker on the iPad than on the iPhone 4. So I'm going to switch the camera spec and show you the Nexus S. This is Nexus S. It's an Android phone running Android 2.3. I'm going to launch the game and it works. The performance of course isn't quite equal to the iOS where we used some hardware acceleration tweaks but it's pretty good. Google has said that uh, big speed ups will be coming in Android 3 Honeycomb so I guess this will be released in a couple of months so it will be even better then. I have some more devices here, like this is an iPhone 3G and this is HTC G1. This is the very first Android phone out there. Uh, while it works on these devices too, it's not in any way smooth. Uh, but if you have like a board game or something not very graphically intensive, then maybe it could be a possibility for you to as well. So I don't have more devices left, but I have some simulators. This is a simulator for Palm WebOS, or I believe it's now called the HP WebOS. Note that this is the current version of the software, not the one they announced uh, last week with the touchpad. So I'm going to open up the game. It opens up OK. You can see there is something weird going on in the top right corner, but nothing major. The game itself works okay. As it is a simulator, I can't really comment on the performance. And for the last one, I have left the Rim Playbook tablet. Here's the simulator for that. Uh, I could open up the game in the browser. But as HTML is one of the built-in ways for making applications for this device, I have already taken the source and installed it as a WebWorks application. So I just open up the application. Everything should work as expected. The current uh, simulator is on landscape only. So it appears this way. Animations are quite smooth. I have a feeling that this will be pretty quick on a real device as the simulator itself is quite slow. So this is it for the roundup. Microsoft just announced that Windows Phone 7 devices will have an upgrade that will bring the HTML5 functionality. I think the time frame they said was later this year. We will be happy to add them to the list as well. So go check it out for yourself. It's on linejs.com or in our GitHub page, github.com slash digitalfruit slash linejs or just follow us on Twitter at linejs. Thanks for watching. Bye.